Hey y'all, this your girl Sandra, and I'm back again with another video. Still punching these pounds with keto. All right, y'all, so this is day number seven. Day number seven. So after today, I've been made the first week on this keto journey. You probably won't see this video until tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, I mean Thursday. So, um, I'm going to post it tomorrow because I'm going to get up in the morning and also post my results with this video so you can see how good I did or how bad I did, whichever way it go, okay? So anyway, I feel a whole lot better, much, 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 much much better than I did yesterday. So before I get started, let me go ahead and start brewing this coffee so I can get it going. So uh, let me go ahead and put that on real quick. I usually have this part already done. I'm gonna plug in the coffee maker. Oh, and I gotta grab some water. Hold on one second. To run and grab some water right quick to put in the coffee maker i don't know how i forgot that but i did so let me put the water in here i'm gonna go ahead and start the brew and then i'm gonna give y'all all the good good so let me get this started real quick i'm also going to make my breakfast it's gonna be very very interesting today so i have so this usually take a whole thing of water and a little bit of the one before. And I do make my coffee with the, uh, the bottled water. I'll put this one over here for the next time. And I'm gonna put, get this started so it can start brewing for me. And then I can give y'all the good, good, good. Put this in here. So it's just gonna be plain coffee today, no cinnamon. I'm just gonna do just the plain coffee kernels. And I usually do three. I have the little spoons here. So I usually just put three in this little coffee maker. My coffee maker about to go out on me, y'all. I need to get me a new coffee maker, okay? Cut that on. So while the coffee is brewing, I'm gonna give y'all the good good. Okay, so day seven, right? And I realized that I had Carb Manager before when I tried this keto journey. And it's just an app that you put on your phone. Uh, let me see if I can get in here. Now. Okay, so it's the it's just the uh, the Carb Manager that you put on your phone, okay? And you can put uh, foods in here. Okay, it's um, let me see if I can get the logo so y'all can see what it looks like without messing up the phone. Uh, and I think I I wanted to get the yeah, it looks like this. It's that little what it like. It is the little icon here that looks like the little M. Let me put it this way, right here. That's what it looks like, that one, okay? That one right there. So you can put foods in here, okay? And it'll tell you because you get, I get so tripped up on what I can and could not eat or should or should not eat on keto. And you know, having to look at all the ingredients, who oh, I ain't got time for that? Ain't nobody got time for that. So what I do is that I um, use this little card manager and I go to foods and I put in, I plug in the food that I'm eating and it tells me whether I, it's okay, whether it should be limited or whether it should be boarded and boarded to give you an elf in red, right? So two things that I did this week um, and you probably doubt that they weren't keto friendly. But remember, I am not a doctor. I am not an MD. So I can't tell you what will or won't work. Okay? I'm just going, this is my journey. And I'm just sharing and doing everything that I'm doing. Okay? 
So, one of the things was I used this this week because I love flavor in my coffee. This is the Coffee Make Caramel Latte, okay? So if you see that, you might say, well, that's not keto friendly. Okay, well, let's just see what car manager says. Let me put the... Okay, so I plug in Coffee Mate, and then I had the Caramel Latte. And I put in the creamer. Okay. And it brings it up. It brings it up just like uh, a picture of the item, okay? And you click on it, and this is what it said. I'm going to have to. Let me see if I can do something with this light so y'all can see. Okay, what about lighting is horrible? Okay, can y'all see that caramel, uh, coffee made caramel latte? And down here in that yellow, it says limited. That's what it says, okay? So the keto guide, it gave it a B grade. It's in yellow. The codes are like red, yellow, and green, okay, like the lights. So this is yellow, and it says limited. So it didn't tell me that uh, it was bad. It just said limited, right? So that one, I can choose to have it if I want to or not. I just know I got to be limited. Now the next thing, my favorite tiger sauce. My favorite tiger sauce. I love these with the wings. But guess what? I put in tiger sauce. And when you're using this, like when you put in tiger sauce, it, um, it's not going to bring it up, okay? So at the bottom, when you don't see your picture, you can, it, it has a thing here that says not seeing your food. Let me see here. Not seeing your food, try an extended search. That's what that says, okay? So you click on that. And it brings up more pictures, okay, right here. So I'm going to find the tiger sauce picture. And it is right here. And it says tiger sauce original um, which is this one here. It's the same picture, okay? And it brings the picture up here so you can see it. Well, card manager says this is an F. And it's right here in red. Okay, there it is. It's right there in red. It says F. It says avoid. So on my keto journey, I don't want to use this, right? And I was so disappointed and sad. So uh, I can't have my tiger sauce no more. So that is part of my don't on my keto journey. Now, if you want to see, so if it's limited, it's yellow. If it's red, it gives it an elf, and it says boy. And then also, uh, if it's good, it's just green. So I'm just going to type in bacon, because we know we can all have bacon on keto. So when I typed in bacon, it gave me a grade A. Okay, grade A. And you can see that at the, at the bottom right there. Grade A means that it is good to go. So, carb manager is my go-to now by foods that I can or cannot, that I should or should not eat. Okay? The yogurt, the yo plate yogurt that I ate, the two the other morning, nah, can't do that. That was bad. So, my results tomorrow <laughs> may be shocking to me, but at least I know going forward, and I forgot all about that. Also, uh, on keto, you this is a go. This is a yes. I would recommend these. Uh, pickles, if you eat pickles. We don't eat pickles here, so that's why I bought the juice. And I got the package so I could just grab one. And these zip fizz, meow, I had energy all day yesterday. It don't kick in right away, but 
I was energized. I did my grandbaby hair, detangling and everything. Okay, and I feel much, much better today. Somebody told me that the keto flu can last up to two weeks. Baby, I couldn't be down for two weeks. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, and with that being said, I'm back to the breakfast at hand. So I'm going to um, move this so y'all can possibly see me. So let me go ahead and put my bacon in. The coffee is brewing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bacon on here. And yes, I did wash my hands. Okay, this it, video has been edited. So um, I have washed my hands. So as always, you should wash your hand in the kitchen. But I would have had to uh, edit out more to let you see me washing my hand, but I don't think y'all need to see me washing my hand. But I'm gonna mention it anyway, okay? So I'm just gonna put my bacon today in the oven and I use, just put it on a cookie sheet. Okay. And I use, this is Members Mark Bacon because I get it from Sam's three in a pack for like about, um, I think it's like $5 or something for three uh, packs versus where in the store with the others, I can pay $5 uh, close to it for just one pack. Okay, so I always just go there. I'm fond of Sam's on a lot of things, you know, certain things like that. My family is not that big, so we don't need bulk, bulk of everything, of a lot of things. But some things we do buy bulk, and bacon is one of them. So the bacon is on the cookie sheet. I just put it in the oven. The oven is already preheated, and I put it on 400. Okay, so I'm gonna let it cook on 400. So while that bacon is cooking. Uh, I'm doing the keto coffee, so I've already put my 10 equals in here already, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put my MCT oil in. Okay. And like I said, I only put like a cup and a half of this of the MCT oil. Today, I'm not going to use... Uh, the ghee, I'm going to switch it up and use butter. Sounds strange, right? But I'm telling you, y'all, it's really good. So I'm going to put butter in here. It's my fat today. I want to switch it up. I have my heavy whipping cream. Just put some in there. And I am going to do chocolate, okay? So uh, it will be chocolate or caramel because now that I know my creamer is limited, I'm going to avoid it. It didn't say avoid it. It said just limited, but... I probably won't use it. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the coffee in here before I pour the chocolate in because the chocolate is served and I want it to melt. Okay? And put it in before I do my um, ice cubes. So this is the chocolate and I'm just going to... And it's really, really thick. So I just... Can you see that? Let it drop some in there like that. And that's probably enough. And I just stir it up so it can melt. Maybe I put a little bit more. I like chocolate coffee. There. I think that'll be enough. And this is just like I had the, it's the caramel. And I cannot find that on Amazon in more spots sold out or too expensive. But this is the Chopper Zero. Okay. So I'm going to let this melt up. And then by the time it melts, I just stir, stir, stir. And then I put my two ice cubes in um, before it, we know when the chocolate melts, okay? Because I don't want to cool it off. Okay, so now the keto coffee is ready and it's just chilling over here. The bacon is still cooking. So I am going to do a keto shuffle today, okay? I'm gonna do the simple uh, keto shuffle recipe. It calls for um, mm, one ounce of butter melted. So I didn't melt the butter, unfortunately. So I'm going to put it in here. And I just mix up my waffle, my shuffle in this because I'm the only person eating it. So it, I just need to make one for me. So let me put this in the microwave and let it melt. <laughs> Not very long because I don't want it to get too hot and cook in uh. I don't want it to get too hot and cook my egg, right? So I'm just gonna put it in there long enough so it can melt. 
I'm going to check the bacon real quick. Oh, and the bacon is ready. It looks good. Let me go ahead and take it out. And hopefully when I take it off, my smoke detector don't go off because, yep, and that's what it did. <laughs> it is very, very sensitive, okay? Let me go ahead and grab this out of here real quick. Wow, that looks good. Look y'all, delicious, crispy, right? I really like my bacon and the oven better. Let me cut the oven off. Okay. Well, it didn't like that, so. try to edit that part out my video if I can okay so the bacon is ready let me go all uh, the butter from the okay the butter is ready so it calls for uh, a half a cup of mozzarella cheese which is just the basic craft mozzarella cheese and I'm just gonna pour it in right at a half a cup Okay, which is about that much. So that's the half a cup. Uh, two eggs. The waffle iron is already um, heating up. Two eggs. here two tablespoons of the almond flour two tablespoons salt now I use the pink salt okay so it's just calling for one one um one pinch of salt okay that's the pinch and I'm just gonna grab a fork and I'm going to mix this up and as you mix it up, this is what it's looking like. Okay. Just mix it up. I usually use my wire whisk, but I then today I'm using a fork. So I'm gonna get it out. Now I hope that when I put this on here, it don't spread and go everywhere, okay? Sometimes I do make bloopers, so let's see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, the waffle maker is hot. And I don't have to, my waffle maker, I don't have to uh, greasy with anything. So I'm just gonna put some mozzarella cheese on the bottom here so it can be crispy. Just a little bit on the bottom of the waffle iron. And then I'm going to pour the mix in here. It looks like it's mixed up pretty good. Okay. And then I'm going to close it. And I have it set so when it turns to green, it'll let me know that it's ready, okay? Okay, as you can see, it didn't spill everywhere. I didn't make a mess, but it is rising pretty good. Oh, that's hot. Nah, I cannot do that. It is rising. Can y'all see that, how it's coming up? 
It is rising, but it's not ready yet because my light hadn't turned solid green yet. Well, wait a minute. It just did. Let's look. Oh, yes, it did. It's ready. Okay. It is ready. So let's see what it looks like out. Okay, so day seven, meal number one is complete. This is the chaffle. That's what it turned, how it looked when it came out. The little crispy part. I also put more butter on here because I just like butter on my chaffles and bacon okay so i have the chaffle the bacon oh that looks delicious and i have my sugar-free maple syrup that i'm going to put on here and i have my keto coffee okay so it's time to say grace and eat okay oh that meal was good so now it's time for me to get ready for my meal number two. I'm super excited. I received one of my uh, Mother's Day gifts today. Yes, I have the QB Junior and it is purple. Today is not workout day, but I can't wait to test it out. Okay, so what I'm having for my meal today for the second meal is that I'm going to have this chicken breast. I'm gonna put this over in the air fryer. It's getting warmed up. So I'm gonna have this chicken breast. It is Italian style. They come in little packs. I get this from Kroger. They're already seasoned with the Italian season on it. And then I'm going to have some green beans. And my green beans are these frozen green beans. So all of my vegetables I do buy frozen. And I've already cut up my bacon and my onion because I do put that in my green beans. So I just put it here. I have the, let me put it down so y'all can see it. I have my, this is the steamer that I cook my green beans in, but you can also saute your um, bacon and onion in here, okay? So I'm gonna let that saute and get done before I put the green beans in. And then once I put the green beans in, let me go ahead and get some butter. I do put butter in them too. Okay. And once all that cook, uh, once it is done, then I will put the green beans in. And I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken breast over here in the air fryer. So now the bacon and the onion are good. I let them brown. So y'all can see that. Brown so it's done. So now I'm just going to put it back in here. And I use chicken broth. Just this regular chicken broth. And that is enough for the uh, green beans. And I am going to use the whole pack of green beans. Of course, I don't eat the whole pack, but I would save them for leftovers. And one thing about this is when it's done cooking, it turns to warm, okay? So it's all warm because it was done cooking the bacon and the onion. I'm gonna just turn, stir that up a little bit. Now, because I used the chicken broth and the bacon, I don't need any salt in here. So I just add like a little kick of accent flavor just a little bit of the garlic powder and some pepper. All right. And then I cut, turn the steamer back on, stir all this up. And then I just take the lid and put it on here and I let that cook until they are tender. And meal number two is ready and I am hungry. So these are the green beans with the bacon and onion in them. And then this is that Italian chicken breast, okay? And that is what I'm going to be having along with my ice cold and half frozen ice water, okay? All right, well, y'all, it's time to say grace and chow down. Okay, y'all, so day is seven, my first week. It was a learning process. Again, I am not a 
doctor or any medical profession at all. This is just my journey, okay? I say that so I can stress it. I can't stress it no more. So please like, comment, uh, share my video, comment on it, like it, uh, subscribe, hit that red button to subscribe uh, to my channel and invite your friends to also subscribe, okay? So I am in different clothing because this is Friday morning, okay? So I'm putting the results with this video. So I am proud to say that even though I ate tiger sauce that I wasn't supposed to, okay, I ate two yogurts because those were the only two things, uh, the yogurt and the tiger sauce that I really, really shouldn't have had this week, right? Uh, but we know why we did the yogurt and we know why we did tiger. But with one week, three days of exercise, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I did get all three of my days in. I am proud to say that I lost eight pounds, y'all. I lost eight pounds, okay? So I am so excited. Uh, I still have a few more hours on my fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and post this video and get ready to start week number two um, with punching the pounds with keto, okay? Y'all come back and tune in with your girl, okay? And let's watch these pounds punch away. Y'all have a good day. And I will check y'all on the next video.